Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Latifah Mamano. We meet again for lesson 17. Now for chapter 4, predictable. This is general chemistry, TST 0914, for Tamidi Center, Yusin. Iron, one of the elements of the predictable, which has been used by humans for over 5,000 years. It is one of the most abundant metals on Earth, making up 5.6% of the Earth's crust and nearly all of the Earth's core. By adding certain proportion of carbon, iron can be used to produce steel, which is 1,000 times harder than pure iron. Iron also plays important role in biology, forming complexes with molecular oxygen in hemoglobin and myoglobin. Surah Al-Hadid in the Al-Quran speaks of the iron. We have already sent our messengers with clear evidence and sent down with them the scripture and the balance that the people may maintain their affairs in justice. And we sent down iron, wherein is great military might and benefits for, all, for the people and so that Allah may make evident those who support him and his messengers unseen. Indeed, Allah is powerful and exalted in might. Chapter 57, verse 25 In Surah Al-Hadid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ayun is strong and will give great importance for human as proven today. Periodic table is a table of chemical elements arranged in order of atomic number, usually in rows, so that elements with similar atomic structure appear in vertical columns. The history of periodic table reflects over two centuries of growth in the understanding of chemical and physical properties of the elements. John Newlands Device a predictable of chemical elements arranged in the order of their relative atomic masses. He published his work in, 19, in 1865, okay, The Law of Octaves. Newlands arranged all the known elements starting with hydrogen and ending with thorium, uh, which has atomic weight 232, into eight groups of seven, which he linked to octaves of music. In 1869, Dimitri Mendeleev classified the atoms accurately according to their properties, which became the basic of the periodic table that we have today. The latest release of the periodic table by International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IUPAC, was in 2018 with four newly, new namely elements, which are nihonium and H, uh, Moscovium, MC, Tennessee, TS, and Organesan, OG, which are now officially part of the periodic table in spots 113, 115, 117, and 118, respectively. In this lesson, we will focus on how to indicate period, group, and block, SPDF, specify the position of metals and nonmetals in the periodic table, deduce the position of the element in the periodic table from its electronic configuration. In the periodic table, elements in the same group have the same number of valence electrons and similar chemical properties. Group in the periodic table is represented by the uh, vertical columns. The group number is equal to the number of valence electrons. If the elements are from block S block and D block, the group number is equal to the number of valence electrons. But if the elements are from P block, the group number is equal to the number of valence electrons plus 10. The main groups in the periodic table are group 1 alkaline metals except hydrogen, group 2 alkaline earth metals, group 3 to 12 transition metals, Group 16, calcogens, group 17, halogens, and group 18, inert, noble, or rare gases. There are seven horizontal rows that represent seven periods in the periodic table. P 
period number is equal to the principal quantum number n of the electrons in the valence shell. There are four main blocks of the periodic table according to the valence or outermost ground state electron configuration. The four main blocks are S, P, D and F. We can refer to the electron configuration of the valence electrons to know the blocks of the elements. The S block elements are the elements from group 1 and group 2. They have half fill or completely fill outermost S orbital. The valence electron only occur in S orbital. The configuration of valence electrons of S block elements are in the range of NS1 to NS2. The example of S block element is sodium which has electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Sodium has 11 electrons. The electronic configuration of the valence electrons of sodium is 3s1. Therefore, the block of sodium is S block. Valence shell of sodium, how to know? We refer to the largest value of n in the electronic configuration of sodium. The largest value of n in the electronic configuration of sodium is 3. Therefore, the period of sodium is 3. For the valence electrons of sodium, we refer to the number of electrons uh, in the valence shell, which is only 1. Therefore, the group of sodium is 1. The position of sodium in the periodic table is Block S period 3 and group 1. Another example of S block element is calcium, which has electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. The number of electrons of calcium is 20. The electronic configuration of the valence electrons of calcium is 4s2. From there, we can determine the block of calcium, which is S block. The valence shell, we refer to the largest value of N, which is 4. Therefore, the period of calcium is 4. The valence electrons of calcium, we refer to the number of valence electrons, which is only 2. Therefore, the group of calcium is 2. Hence, the position of calcium in the periodic table is Block S, period 4, group 2. The P block elements are mainly the elements from group 13 to 18, except helium. The electronic configurations of the valence electrons of P block elements are in the range NS2 and P1 to NS2 and P6. The example of P block element is Aluminium, which has 13 electrons. The, co the configuration of aluminium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. The electronic configuration of the valence electrons of aluminium is 3s2, 3p1. Therefore, the block of aluminium is block P because the electronic configuration of the valence electrons is in the range ns2 and P1 until NS2 and P6. The valence shell, we refer to the largest value of N, which is 3. Therefore, the period of aluminium is period 3. The valence electrons, uh, the number of electrons in the outermost shell, so 2 plus 1. Therefore, we have 3 valence electrons and the group of P block elements we have to add with 10. Therefore, the valence electrons plus with 10, 3 plus 10, we will get 13 as the P as the P block group number. Therefore, the position of aluminium in the periodic table is block P period 3 and group 13. Another example of P block element is tellurium with configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d10, 
5s2, 5p4. The number of electron of tellurium is 52. The electronic configurations of the valence electrons of tellurium is 5s2, 5p4. Because the, the valence electrons is in the range ns2, np1 to ns2, np6, tellurium is in p block. The valence shell of tellurium is 5. We refer to the largest value of n, which is 5. The valence electrons of tellurium is 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. Therefore, the, number, the group number for tellurium is number of valence electrons 6 plus 10, which is 16. Hence, the position of tellurium in the periodic table is block P, period 5 and group 16. The D block elements are the elements of transition elements from group 3 until group 12. The configuration of the valence electrons of D block elements are in the range N minus 1 D1 and S2 to N minus 1 D10 and S2. One of the examples of transition element of D block is vanadium, which has 23 electrons. The configuration of vanadium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d3. Or we can also write it as the AR or stands for argon configuration in the bracket, square bracket. 4s2, 3d3, where the AR or argon has 18 electrons. So this symbol, the AR with bracket, represents the 18 electrons of vanadium. The electronic configuration of the valence electrons of vanadium is 4s2, 3d3. Therefore, vanadium comes from D block because the configuration of the valence electrons is in the range n minus 1 d1 and s2 until n minus 1 d1 d10 and s2. The valence shell is 4, okay, as the number of n, the largest value of n is 4. Uh, therefore, the period of vanadium is period 4. The valence electrons are 2 plus 3 or equals to 5. The group of D block elements, we just refer to the number of valence electrons. Therefore, it is equals to 5. Hence, the position of vanadium in the periodic table is block D period 4 group 5. Lastly, the F block elements are the elements in the series of lanthanides and actinides. The valence electrons of F-block elements are in the subshells of 4F and 5F. In our syllabus, we will not discuss further about F-block elements, so you don't have to know how to uh, deduce the position of the F-block elements. So we have learned that Okay, in the periodic table, we have four blocks, mainly they are S block, P block, and D block, and also the F block elements. The S block elements are the metals, the P block elements are the non-metals, the D block elements are transition metals, and F block elements are lanthanides and actinides. In this lesson, we have learned how to indicate period, group, and block as PDF, specify the position of metals and nonmetals in the periodic table, and deduce the position of elements in the periodic table from its electronic configuration. See you next time in the next lesson. Thank you.